When I was really young, my mom used to be very overbearing about our decorations, and so we had to help her. And I never, I never liked Christmas lights. I never liked Christmas lights. I never liked trees. I never liked having Santas all over the house. But she insisted. She's like, we have to do this because it's normal. And and I just said, well, what's so normal about dragging your kids out of bed at 9 a.m. to hang lights? You know. I got a call from my sister last night, and she goes and she tells me that my mother is throwing up the Christmas tree and. It's, what, the 17th, <laughs> and Christmas is less than a week away. Uh, I don't like the idea that you have to do this because it's normal, because it's not. I mean, I come from a family of immigrants. They, didn't, they celebrate Christmas, but they don't have the same traditions that we do, but they feel they need to adapt being, you know, citizens in the U.S., and it just comes off as weird, man. It's just very awkward. My mom didn't know who Santa Claus was until 1982. And then my sister tells me, oh, well, because my father hasn't, ta hasn't taken down the lights from the garage yet. And so my mother is getting really pissed off that apparently that my dad has to work five days, five days a week and you know doesn't have time to take down Christmas lights. So she got pissed and she's just gonna throw away my Christmas tree. Before I had moved out of my parents' place, uh, they catered to my brother a lot more than I did. So my brother got like, an entire new wardrobe and I ended up getting a metal trash can and a toothbrush for Christmas and it was a little disappointing. <laughs> if it was any shake. consolation it was an electric toothbrush. <laughs> I'm gonna go home to my parents to prepare for the occasion I decided to bring lots of DVDs with me to cure the boredom. It's nice to really have nothing to do for once. So yeah uh, it's, it's really about just having nothing to do, nothing on your plate. I don't even want to go back, and then I asked my sister, like, well, wh why, why should I go back? Well, should I just, like, stick around here? And then my sister says, well, you want to pick up your iPod? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that, that's pretty true. But I'm not going home to my parents' place, and where I live, everyone's leaving. So I plan on making a nice dinner and staying in with my cats, maybe watch a Christmas story. <laughs> My problem is that I was raised on like sitcoms and TV shows, so I, I suppose it'll be something where it's like where actually everybody's you know just like sitting together and just you know like very happy and you know not too much drama. But I love my family, so that that's not going to happen. <laughs> I might have been in third grade or something, and that was the uh, winter that I had a bunch of relatives come visit for the holidays, which meant a lot of cousins that were slightly older than me that liked to torture me. And I enjoy the camaraderie, like, you know, it's, it's nice having dinner with your family where everyone's on their best behavior, everybody's had a little bit of, uh, a little bit to drink, so everything's a little bit more relaxed. It's not one of your tense family dinners where they want to ask you if you're dropping out of school or smoking pot. Maybe it was just because I was seven and I don't really have a great memory of it, but I remember, like, enjoying it, seeing my cousins and, you know, seeing my family and, I, you know, the last time I actually remember, like, going, you know, to see my whole family and not feeling too stressed out. <laughs> so it was, it, that, I remember that was, that was nice. And that was about 12 years ago. I mean, it's the only time where I really see my brother, like, during the year, even though I live so close to him, like, I don't really see him at all. So, like, I, I guess a lot of it's hanging out with my brother. I don't really look forward to Christmas like I did when I was a kid. It's just... You know, you, when you were a kid, you were just thinking like, oh man, Christmas is going to be great, you know, we're going to put up lights and we're going to have a tree and, you know, every, you know everyone's going to, you know, be really happy. But it just like, whoa, like as I got older, I just realized that that never really happens. My ideal holiday would be probably spending it, uh, spending Christmas or New Year's, either one. Uh, with my friends, like a large group of them. Uh, I know I'd have so much better of a time if they were around and not around my parents. They're kind of sticks in the mud. <laughs>